all parliamentary committees and Parliament itself is fully televised, allowing the general public live and recorded access to all the goings on, all the debates, all the decisions in Parliament. But additionally, newspapers, radio, television and new media have access to Parliament in order to be able to talk with MPs, interview MPs, give MPs a platform for their views and also to hold MPs accountable for the things that they've done and for the votes they've participated in. Parliament ensures its work is transparent by recording every single thing that a Member of Parliament or a Minister says. It's through a document called Hansard, which is a verbatim account of every single deliberation in the House of Commons and the House of Lords. It also covers the work of our committees, including select committees. So in this way, people are very clear exactly what Members of Parliament are saying. MPs are held accountable by a parliamentary scrutiny committee, but also by an independent regulator of MPs' behaviour and actions. And that combined with the Freedom of Information legislation, which gives access to the correspondence of MPs in their parliamentary duties and MPs' finances with regard to their parliamentary duties, gives individuals in their constituencies, gives pressure groups, gives the media the opportunity to ask questions in order to hold MPs accountable for their actions. Journalists are free, as indeed anybody is, to uh, contact a uh, member of the House of Lords and uh, ask them about what is happening in the chamber, seek their views and, uh, and request interviews. I was always very much in favour of the broadcasting of Parliament. A number of members were not. I think there's a transparency there and I bless uh, the parliamentary channel. I think it's a wonderful way the people in this country getting to know what goes on in both houses. But there's also transparency in that, of course, uh, Parliament itself is open to the public. We have public galleries, they must be allowed in there. At all our committees, whether it is legislative committees, committees that are dealing with legislation as it goes through the House, they are open to the public. The select committees, uh, they are also open to the public. When select committees are examining very important people on a particular issue, it is open for the public to see. It is as transparent as we could possibly make it. Um, there may be other methods that we can use as time goes by, but we are constantly wanting to make certain that the people of this country and, the, uh, and internationally know precisely what we are doing and that our door is wide open to allow them to do so.